Hi, I'm Kay and welcome to OK Miniatures. Today we're going to be making an LED lamp post. Camera, action, light. So the main goal with this was to make a functional LED lamp, street lamp, with the wires hidden inside the post so that, yeah, it looks normal. Um, to do this, I tried drilling a hole with a drill bit through a piece of foam, but the foam was too thin and the drill bit ended up tearing a hole in the side. Then I tried melting the foam with a soldering iron. Very, very, very bad idea. I also tried making a hollow section with craft foam using two thin strips with the center empty, but it was really too small to work well. Finally, I ended up with this method. I cut some thin strips of XPS foam. These ones were actually left over from a previous project. I cut about a third of the width off of two strips. I glued them together then the with two of the wider pieces on the outsides and the skinny piece in the middle making like a u-channel so the wires can be partially concealed I'd like to find a better way of doing this so the wire doesn't show at all which would probably involve 3d printing the posts so that's a project for another day I cut pieces for the post from this U-channel that I made using the mini as height estimate. Nothing too precise, just an estimate. Then when the glue was dry, I cut angles on the pieces so they'd fit together nicely and so there'd be a nice finished edge on the outside of the angle at the bend. I added texture to the foam before assembling it. It's easier this way, and that way the wood grains are all running the correct way. I covered this with Mod Podge, which was a bit of a mess, and I used the Mod Podge to kind of glue the pieces together, but it didn't, I was too impatient, per usual. Then I assembled the post. I tried to pin the pieces together with toothpick, but the toothpick just ripped out the foam. So I ended up just carefully placing the pieces together and letting the glue dry, but they still fell apart later.
While we're waiting for that to dry, I worked on the electronics. I used a 3 volt coin battery since these LEDs need 3 volts to turn on. If you're using a battery with higher voltage, you'd need resistors and math, but a 3 volt battery works just perfectly. Now it's time to get out the soldering iron. I stripped the ends of the wires, but you don't need anything fancy tool if you don't have a wire cutter. Um, I just used the scissors, you just gotta be careful not to cut the wire itself and just cut the insulation. I hope you wanted to see me solder and not see me solder. To make soldering easier, I bent the wires into hooks and pinched them together. It's better to twist them together, but I didn't have a lot of space here and I don't want the wires to stick out. Alternatively, if you have one of the helping hand things, those would make it a lot easier, but I don't. I only have two hands, so this is what I came up with. I used heat shrink tubing to cover the exposed wires so nothing bad happens. They won't cross each other and short out the battery. I put a bigger tube around the whole thing. Mine wasn't quite big enough, so I had to cut a little slit to get it all the way up there. I also added yellow paint to my white LED. Uh, I used my white LED because they're a bit brighter than my yellow ones, but this isn't really necessary. You can just use the yellow LED. Finally, I made a base to hold a 3-volt coin battery. Then I painted the lamp post brown. I shoved the wire into the U-channel once all the paint was dry, and it basically pushed the entire piece apart. It was very difficult to get it in there, and the foam wasn't sturdy enough to survive the forces. I just bent the wire then once the pieces were apart to fit, and that also helped it hold together when I glued it. I put the hole through the base so that the wires could come through and I made the wires bent so that they were kind of like a spring, pinching the battery to keep the connection. But it wasn't a super consistent connection, it was a little bit finicky. And so I ended up just super gluing it together. The Mod Podge, Mod Podge protected the foam from the super glue so it didn't melt, which was good. And I dry brushed it. Blah. Dry brushed it with a grayish brown.
Then I finished it all with a homemade black wash. There she is. I consider this more of a proof of concept or prototype than a finished piece, given that I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'd like to make a more refined battery holder and a nicer looking post, and ideally I make it easy to make a bunch of them so that you can have 5 or 10 street lights on the little street without being a ton of work. If you'd like to see a more refined version, comment below letting me know. If there's interest, I'll get working on that sooner than later. If this video helped you, please hit that like button, and if you'd like to see more train builds, consider subscribing with notifications turned on so that you'll know when another video comes out. With that, I'll see you in the future.